Williams as well. Fantastic. Please watch the damn champion, wasn't he? Yeah. Fabio. And we contested under K1 rules, and it's for the vacant ISKA world title. Over to your referee. One last one for myself and Vinny in the commentary box now. One last one here at this collaboration show at the O2. Round one. It's going to come out bombs away, is it, Rion? Heavy hitter, relentless pressure fighter. Killer instinct. Yeah. This guy looks well set up though, doesn't he? French kid looks looks good in there. They get caught with punches. You'll get caught with punches. Right hook. Yeah. Left hand's very low, isn't it? Yeah. Rian will stop him. <clears throat> I think. Chris Batchador, referee in the middle here. Needs a big guy for the big guys. Yeah. If I'm honest. His hands are a little bit open, Rio. As in, he doesn't squeeze his fist. If he squeezes his fist when he lands his punches, this French man, Aristotle, will be toast. He'll be back. I'll be out back on the channel tunnel. French toast. Yeah. French style. It's nice, a French toast. Is it's it? It's small, it, but yeah, compact. It is, yes. It's tasty. Wong heads are on the stage here, moving his opponent back early doors. Twenty-ninth bout on this card. Yeah, it's gone quick though, hasn't it? Yes. All them fights have gone quick, and but it has for everyone watching back home. I as know well. it's late, ladies and gentlemen, and I know that it's uh, you half past eleven in England, or whether they be watching around the world. Thank you. And it's the final fight of tonight, and um, i have just got to let his shots off here. The referee's telling him to stop catching and, and to fight here. Yeah. Not easy language barrier as well. No. Just found out that there is a weakness in the referee Chris Batchador. He is not fluent in French. He's not. <laughs> nice to see. Well, we'll just up the pressure as this fight goes on. Last well, 10 seconds of this round. It's off balance there. Yeah. There's five three minute rounds to get through here. And Quito Cesar just relaxing himself into this fight. Not seen anything to talk about with him yet. All's, all's, all's he has to do is really just edge himself forward and throw straight punches, straight, just straight punches, and it'll land. Yeah. In trying to get close and then trying to throw hooks, and they get, people get hook up obsessed. You know, he, he could land these shots here, boom, boom, and land them, land, land them straight here. You're watching he the, could. You're watching people land them on the. Uh, on the one championships, on that stage with those small gloves, you're watching those straight punches be devastating as well down the centre. It, it, it is, and it, it's <laughs> so important to be able to, to jab as well, because in the olden days where you'd get jab, you, you, couldn't, you could take the jab on the gloves or on the head because the jab wouldn't do that much, you could bang Second the leg. Now. Because the gloves are so Round small, you cut, you cut people, you get cut and damaged, etc. Slowly, slowly we'll get it. Round number two then, and let's see 
how it goes. One going about his task here. It's good from the Frenchman. Yeah, you watch his product go up now. Punch straight, straight one two. Here yeah, Wong's just walking into shots at the moment. Not active when he gets close. Must want that knee, I think. Losing his patience, isn't he? Yeah. He could punch straight from here, his arms are like he could punch straight. Oh, you're right, just walking into him at the moment. Just walking at him. Yep. I know he's trying to set up. We'll find out in a second, I'm sure. Quite a fluent kicker off the left leg. Frenchman, good to see, sir. He might have gears to go through in here. He's got a good record. Yeah, I mean... He's won fights for a reason, you know. Can't just walk in with your hands and just cut the cut the distance down. He needs to punch as he goes in. The corner screaming at him for boxing knee. Yes. Game one just skips in front of him and lands little low kicks when yeah. he's close. I'm not sure what he's trying to do at the moment. I'm not sure what the game plan is. Well, neither am I. There you go. That's better. Right hook. But like you said earlier, he's got those straight punches. Straight the punches have landed so much easier for him. It's making this fight very, very hard. See some of the action we go into round number three. Second Once again, the down. ice guy, world title three. on the line here. Yeah, See the straight punches that work for him so easy then. Made his life so much easier. Yeah, maybe straight his punches from told here. him to do it as well. Well, the same way yeah, your hands go. Yeah. See? He's doing it, yeah. Straight it sets the knee up far yeah. easier, doesn't it? Yes. He's driving the referee mad with all these little yeah. sweeps and heel hooks and illegal little moves. He's trying too hard, Rion. Too close, isn't he? Yes. He's trying, trying, to, he's trying to 
He's the taller of the two. He's smothering his own work. He's smothering his own work, yes. Yeah. Centre of the ring here. Moving his opponent back. Frenchman seems happy on the back foot sometimes, just trying to time his shot. Hurt with the needle. Yeah. It doesn't look like he's going to hurt Wong now, does he? No. See, you see, he's going forward foot, but it's like boom, boom, it's easier, you know? Punch straight, look out, look. It's like making himself. See, why, why, would, you, why would you throw short hooks when you're taller? For what purpose? You know? Should punch straight. When he punched straight before, he was scoring. It's not like he's throwing his hip through all the punches as well to land damaging shots like that. The knee will win him the fight on points yeah. as we go through at this pace. See it's how, how tight he is here. He's walking here. You know, in, this is like he's so tight. He needed to be there though. <laughs> to be honest. He did need to be there. It's better. Just need knee right up the middle, straight up to the head. Yeah, as he boxes, he, his head comes down, doesn't it? It's hurting him now. There you go, it's hurting him now. Yeah. Damage and effect is starting to come into play now. Do you know what? This sounds really basic and, and, and a bit, bit daft. But if I was in Rion's corner, I'd say, go and have a fight with him. Go and have a fight with him. Yeah, he's going to have a fight with him. The pressure. Have a fight with him. You know what I mean? Just let your hands go. go and, but they are screaming, let your hands go. But it's like when you... His hands are too in to his body and then he's walking forward and he's like, well, let your hands go first, then walk, you know? It's easy for us to say, but we, that's yeah, what simple, we're paying yeah. for. You know, we want, we want, you know, we want our lad to win. <laughs> Not taking a step backwards as the fight started, but he can be much more effective with his work, can't he? Yeah. Definitely. Seconds out. Round four. Round four then. Made hard work of this, Leon, for himself. He has. Yep. Like you said earlier, he smothered his own work, really. Yeah. Just got too close after he throws the shots. That's the range he wants this to be at. Exactly. What you can do under the K1 rule set once you've thrown that shot and you get close to each other, you sort yeah. of what are you doing here? Hi, right, mate, and you've just got to be pushed away, haven't you? All right, hang on, oh, taking mate. a point off him, taking a point, yeah, yeah, holding, it's not popular no. in the uh, French parts of the uh, crowd, but. Trying to off-balance him. He's not going to off-balance real one no. like that. No. no chance. Terrible tactic. Better here from Rion. Yeah. Better from him. Not as close, is he? No. And he's landing it better at distance, but he lands better when he punches straight first. When he punches first, then walks in. So if he punches first, see how he walks in then and just try to knee. He punches first and walks in. He is intelligent, Rion Wong. He's worked this fight out. It's taken him longer than we wanted him to, but he has worked it out now, hasn't he? Oh, uh, Chris, look how high Chris gets his leg up there. That's good. Yeah. 
Trying to smother him and work him over now, Rion. He's turning into graft though, isn't he? finished disqualified sorry you got disqualified yeah. sorry i was just sat there and was like he's been a technical difficulty holding, then he's been yeah. disqualified for holding what a way to win a world title it's a my tie fight it's, right. Right. it's just not got a grip for this rule set he's had a lot of fights this guy it's been a horrible journey to the uk for him he spent three and a half hours in traffic and then got disqualified well you know what they say you know what they say they say i don't know <laughs> I knew he was going to come with the ugly stuff. That's why he just stand back in me. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout was brought to a close midway through the fourth round when the referee ended the contest and disqualified the blue corner boxer. So let's hear it for your winner and new ISK World Champion in the pink corner, Rio!